Hello YouTube, this is a coffee review of Dunkin Donuts Dunkin Dark. According to the label, which they use small thin lettering on orange background with black ink. Guys, don't do that. It says here, get a chance to read it here. It's a success story that started in 1950 as a single donut shop in Quincy, Massachusetts. And now includes over 8,000 shops. Sure, Dunkin' Donuts is named for its donuts. But it's our coffee that fueled the phenomenon. And just what kind of brew could create such a stir? Open the bag and find out. Dunkin' Dark Coffee features bold, rich taste with a signature smoothness you'd expect from Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start this off right. The bag note. It smells very heavy, very rich. Uh, the the I'm trying to see you see it. The coffee odor itself, we expect to be a coffee. It's kind of drowned out. Not a whole lot there. It's just heavy thickness. Almost I won't, don't want to see burnt coffee. It's just heavy. No acidity to it, uh, earthiness to it, no real fruit notes anywhere in the uh, in the nose, nothing along the lines. Just thick, heavy coffee to the point of you almost don't even recognize it as coffee. French press. Let's turn right. All right. It is a deep dark brown. Um, no real head to it or any real head retention. I know that sounds kind of strange being as coffee, but I've had other ones where it just would collect a foam on top of fine bubbles and would just stay there, almost like like a like a very light beer head, but not in this case. And it is, like I say, dark dark chocolate brown. That also may sound strange, but I've had other coffees which were very dark, but turns out they had a red hue. This does not. According to the bag, uh, Rainforest Alliance, 30% certified coffee, 100% Arabica beans. There you go. But anyways, the smell in the cup is better than the bag. You get this um, much richer coffee note to it, but we've got a black helicopter to come in. You might be able to hear it, but either way, it's think of your your standard coffee, just intensify the heaviness of it and that's what you get with this Dunkin Dark if there's any fruit notes in it I'm not getting it there's no uh, acidity no 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 brightness in in the nose it's to the point where it's thick enough that you almost don't recognize it to be a coffee. And the taste is not what I expected. And it's not a black helicopter. The taste is very acidy. With some hidden orange and hidden uh, stone fruits in it. Way buried down deep in there. But that that brightness hits you immediately, holds onto your tongue, and stays there. The uh, heaviness that you got with the, the nose and with the um, 
well, uh, the bang note and the, the, the mug note. It was also there. <clears throat> but where when you give us a, a sniff, it kind of, it's fleeting. It comes and goes. This isn't. This stays with that brightness. It's got a really long hang time. This would be a very strong cup of coffee, though. Back with 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 with, with the nose, you don't get as much coffee flavor you get out of it. You get a heaviness, uh, like I said. Think think uh, coffee, but you just make it so much stronger. You start losing the coffeeness to it. Now, usually when you go on that end of it, you start getting to the chocolate lines, and yes, this is very much so bordering. So far in heaviness, you're losing the coffee, or you could say it's so far heavy that you're just now touching dark uh, cocoa, like 80-90% cocoa. But it's that acidity, it's that brightness. It's a bit of a turnoff. Now, I've had this... Once already with my favorite, a little bit of cocoa powder. And that does take off some of the edges. And a little bit of a sweetener will also take off some of the edges. And it gives you this a nice, heavy coffee if you're into the heavier flavors. Like I said, I'm into stouts and merlots and whatnot. This guy is pushing the boundaries of that wheelhouse. Give it a try. See what you think. If you're into very dark, strong flavors... This uh, Duncan Dark might actually have you start to back off that. Very strong. This is not a, a summer. This is maybe a winter. It's, it's hard to figure out where to put this kind of a uh, cup of coffee that you would have in the morning. But it is that strong. Give it a try. See what you guys think. This is Duncan Donuts. Dunkin' Dark. I said it's 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 challenging the edges of my enjoyment of heavy flavored uh, coffees and whatnot. But see what you guys think. Any comments down below with this particular product would be greatly appreciated. Or better yet, go out buy it, try it yourself, and then do a review on YouTube. Let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts of Dunkin' Dark. Dun dun dun. And we'll all see, get a better idea of what we consider about this particular, particular type of coffee. Until next time, keep on drinking.